enlightened on a question that I asked not only for myself but for some of my friends who are here tonight. Oh, right. And this question has never been verbalized before. So I ask her forgiveness if my words... My what? <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> there is nothing to forgive. The way it comes out will be the perfect way it needs to come out. Do share. Your sharing is a gift just as it is. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I come from another time and space to be in this time and space to fulfill a quest and a mission. I'm doing rather well. Yes, um, as are all of you. I hope. You what? Hope. No need to hope. Hope implies despair. Hope implies you are not sure. You either know or you don't. You are doing just fine. I don't know all, or else I would not ask you to enlighten me on this one little No thing. one will know all, but everyone will know all they need to know at any given moment to be completely who they need to be. You know all you need to be who you are being at any given moment. Oh, I agree, but right. uh, mm, let me see if I can put this right. Um, the mission, the quest that we are on and that I specifically am on uh, is coming to a close. And uh, we have utilized the completion of the m mission uh, in a mass production way. I'm a writer and a producer, and my group and I have written and produced something uh, rather valuable and famous. Um, which we hope will have a wondrous effect. More hope. Uh, you know it will make an impact. I do know Thank it is you. making it an impact. We have a, a little slight problem. Oh, if you say so. Yes, I do say so. All right. Um, there is yet another group, and I don't know how this group exists, whether it's uh, a group uh, collective altered state, whether it's a group of people who sit in a house uh, thinking about us, but they do... Uh, create situations which are detrimental. Uh, detrimental is is a, uh, uh, they can kill. They have killed. They have taken parts of our group. Uh, they have tried to dismantle us and our project. It doesn't work in the long run because the mission, the quest, is more important than the individual for its outcome on the planet. However, two questions. One. Who are these beings or people? Where are they? And what can we do to dismantle them? Two, um, <laughs> my mate is in another place or plane and is trying desperately to join me. Where is he? And what can I do? What can my, do? my. <laughs> now. That's the best I could do now. Okay? Thank you. It is perfect. Allow me first to lay down a foundation. What will assist you the best, and in no way, shape, or form do I mean this derogatorily or judgmentally, all right? Sure. What will first assist you the best is to, from your definitions and your perspectives of this overall scenario, remove the melodrama. Remove it. It doesn't belong. There is no need for you to carry over from the art craft of melodrama in which you are involved the idea of melodrama in your physical life. Now, we will not apply a label to that group because in that way to define them more solidly places them more solidly in your reality. And this we will not do. The idea is not to dismantle them. The idea is in a sense, and again we do not mean this term in a attack mode understanding. The idea is to, in a sense, overwhelm them with the unconditional love, trust, and absolute certainty that the reality you believe in most strongly is untouchable by anything that is not of a similar vibration. The only reason that these two ideas and these two groups have been able to interact is because of your inherently taught and ingrained beliefs that you can have an opponent that can oppose you. If you simply are of the vibratory awareness and level of the idea of your service, and your love, and your light, 
and unconditional trust in your beingness, no being that is not of that vibration will be able to find you, let alone touch you. You follow me? May I comment back? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, I agree with what you're saying on a, a whole. And I'd also like to state that I am that very confident person. All right. I am invincible. And yes. I shall succeed. Yes. But I have a responsibility to others around me. To them, not for them. To them. Yes. And I cannot help to understand your definition of melodrama when a member of our group is shot in the head dead yes. in front of us. Uh, we tend to react emotionally to this. One moment. That tendency is not natural. It is learned. And also, what we are saying is that the attraction of that event, in other words, that event is the effect of incorporating melodrama. We are not saying that melodrama is the result of that action. We are saying that that action is the result of the belief in the melodrama, in the belief of the good versus evil. That is melodrama, because good and evil are completely subjective value judgments. I didn't think I quite um, said that I was the one who was good. I'm just saying that there was we a understand. force. We understand, but we are talking about these other individuals as well. We are not simply speaking of you. Since you mentioned the idea of the energy of the group, we are discussing the energy of the individuals in the group. Yes. And many of the belief systems they have bought into in your reality have ingrained within them a habitual ritual of thinking of this idea in terms of a struggle between light and dark. And so that's what they attract. Then what is it if it is not that? It is not a struggle if you understand that the vibration you are is simply going to be the reality you experience, then the idea of anyone who is not of that vibration, as we have said, will never be able to find you or touch you to be able to create a struggle. You will simply be beyond their reach. Fine. Accepting that, could you please identify this weaker form for me, this group that I am overpowering with my great confidence? We will not label them, no. Because that will focus you greater into the idea of a battle. The idea is to love all unconditionally because you are created out of unconditional love. When you do that, you will then overwhelm them in that way as a reflection of the fact that you are, as a whole, untouchable, indestructible. And if that does not work? For you to say, and if that does not work, is for you to deny that you truly believe that that is the reality you say you believe in. You do not play what if. If you play what if, then you are not willing to believe in what you say you believe in. This is 100% trust that we are talking about here. We are not talking about what if. What if implies less than 100% trust in what you say you believe you are. So how am I doing? Now you are doing just fine as always. But you will always be doing fine. You will always be doing perfectly. It depends on what definition of what reality you wish to perfectly manifest. It is always up to you. But the idea in any reality, on any level, of experiencing the reality you know to be true for you and not experiencing the effect of any other reality that may not be in synchronistic accord with you is to simply know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are being of service, that you are being of love, that you are an expression of light. And if you simply know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is what you are all about as well as all the other individuals in your group, and are not buying into the belief systems that many of you have been brought up in this society to believe in, that the idea of good and evil, right and wrong, must be a battle royal, then you will not experience nor draw into your life the need to see those manifested scenarios. Because it will simply not be a part of the idea. You won't need that type of expression of melodrama in your life. If you become caught up in that belief system, that is when you are buying into the negative group's belief system, and that is what makes you susceptible in inter- is what draws you together. 
if you simply know that they have nothing to do with your reality and you have nothing to do with their reality in terms of what you are capable of accomplishing, then you will not have to interact in that way. You will not have to interact in ways that reflect your belief that this is going to have to be some sort of a struggle. It simply won't happen. So for you to say, well, what if it does, means that you are buying into that reality and reinforcing the probability that that will be the reality you experience. And it doesn't matter what you have experienced with them. Whatever you define yourself to be now in the present will be what you experience now in the present. And for every present, you create. Regardless of any other experience you have ever had. Perhaps the experience of interacting with them is to realize simply that there are many negative beliefs that are held by individuals even in what you call your positive group. And for them to recognize that it is only those negative beliefs that attract any other negative individual. Thank that you. is it. I see that we both have very clear positive realities. Yes. Unfortunately, they are not the same. Thank you. All right. But that again is not unfortunate. For every being is what they are by their choice. And they create the realities they experience utterly as the product of what they have been taught to believe is true. There is no one truth except that the truth is composed of all truths. Individuals can express themselves in positive ways, in negative ways. Positive simply being integrative, negative being segregative. But an individual who simply knows that they are integrative in that way will, by the light by which they shine, simply show an individual who is negative that they are A, untouchable, and that B, they are giving back to the negative individual an offering of a choice. A choice to understand that they can also be positive, or if they do not choose to be positive, they can simply go their way. For that which is negative cannot exist within the blinding light of that which is positive. That is all there is to it. It is simple mechanics. Thank you, Bashar. Shooting!